Welcome back to On The Table. Remember to download the Airtel TV application on your smartphone to watch your favorite Diamond TV shows and not miss out on what's going on. So all you need is just internet to watch Diamond TV via the Airtel TV app. No need for you to subscribe or uh, while you're watching your pop-up adverts coming right there. So enjoy watching Diamond TV from the Airtel TV app. Now my guest right now is an award-winning artist who I have so much respect for. I won't lie. And to be honest, I don't have respect for so many people. Okay, I do, but you know, well, the reason why they're not so many is uh, maybe I just don't like some of them. But that's a story for another day. What I do like, and in fact love, is this song and music video by my guest uh, that features uh, T. Sean, it's titled My Life's a Movie. And let's have a quick look at what the music video looks like in case you haven't seen it. Just a couple years ago, and this every day is the under. My child was mukomboka, as he pays up for London. We represent the whole of South Asia, Mozambique. Regardless, Mumira ni ona mo champion. Mumira ni ona mo champion. Mumira ni ona mo hero. Nika kula miza ma picture yanga ya kudala ndepe unga one ni kutadi kwena choka. When you see me shine, ni chive ni sozi na ma pempero ya amama. Allow me to welcome the artist behind that song itself. An artist we might need to pay for speaking on the show because we're going to voice your doula, Kuchila Marula. Yo, Jay you know, Cash. Bro, what's good, G? Welcome to the show. You don't Thank believe you. in coffee? Yeah? Nah, I don't, man. <laughs> like, we would have been wearing masks yeah. by now. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. I'm happy to have you. I'm happy to be here, bro. Yeah. Um, first of all, I love the song. Yeah. Great video as well. How, how, how long did it take you to create such a sentimental song? And, and just, to, to, yeah. I don't know if you pen it down or you just yeah, go and yeah. freestyle it. Yeah, here's, here's one fun fact, right? Like, um, most of... Uh, most of the best songs actually are created in, in a short space of time. Really? Yeah, you know. Like, so, what, what, what's your definition of short space? Like how long? I mean, like for me, creating this song, yeah. it took like, what, an hour? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in both bases. Well, I think it's also because it was coming from the heart. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. it's like, like stuff is scripted already and I'm just, you know, bringing it to reality. And making it rhyme, because that's also yeah, the... Just making it rhyme. Yeah, that's know? the artistic part, where exactly. you're, you're rhyming and making sense out of yeah. everything you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's what's rhyme really rhythm. amazing. Yeah. Uh, and I know there's also an interesting story to yeah. how Tishon came about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, who was initially on, on the hook, or was supposed to be on the hook? So, yeah, yeah. Toela was supposed to be on the, on the hook for that particular jam. Yeah. But um, I think she was busy at the time, so she, like, she couldn't get back. Ah. Yeah, no, but uh, he, like um, Zenga and um, Torella's management, I think, were in, in communication, but we just didn't pull through. Yeah. yeah. You spoke with your mom at some point, how she was disappointed with finding out about you yeah. uh, dodging from school and yeah. everything. Uh, does she listen to your music? <laughs> she does, actually. Um, from time to time, my little brother, like every time I drop a song, um, he goes through and shows her, like, yo, mom, check this out. And yeah. But she never really tells me, like, yo, I watched your song. But, yeah. I mean, all in all, I know she sees it and she's proud. But do you think she's heard this one? This yeah, she has. One? She has. Actually, uh, my bro was telling me yesterday, like, yo, yeah. I just made mom see the video and she was blushing the whole time. Bro. Really? Like, I could tell she's proud. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. And speaking of sentimental issues and things that come from the heart, uh, just recently, Dreams postponed the release of the song that you feature on for yeah, you yeah. alone, uh, true, owing to the fact that you had a bereavement at the time. True, true, uh, true. How did you feel about that gesture? Ish, man, it's crazy. You never know. Like, life is funny, man. The next thing you know is you're a single dad all of a sudden. Like, stuff that you just see from afar, and then now it's happening to you. You know what I mean? So, Ish, that, that, that news really came to me by, you know, surprise and... Because I was just like two days after she got into the, the hospital, you know. Um, I mean, quite all right. Me and her weren't married, weren't in a relationship, you know. But um, she's somebody I respected too much because she's the mother of my two kids, you know. I'm talking mm -hmm. LeBron, who's, who turned four years two days ago, mm -hmm. two, three days ago. And um, Jaden, who's only like four months now, mm -hmm. you know. So having to lose her like that, bro, was just, ish, man. May, may I so rest in peace. It was, it was definitely some sad news, but um, 
uh, Dreams, in this case, halted the release of, of his song I respect, for that. I, I respect that about Dreams. He actually contacted me and told yeah. me, like, yo, bro, um, for, the, for the respect I have for you and what's going on with you and your family, I, I just decided to, like, you know, push it back yeah. and, and wait for the perfect day. So Shout meaning, you, there's, there's, there's three kids that you have. There's Giovanni. Yeah, there's Giovanni. Giovanni's mom is somebody else. Yeah. Then there's LeBron's mom. Yeah. Yeah, who was my girlfriend. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's like that. Gio and these two. So Four how, boys. How, how did you manage to cope with the loss of the mother of your children? Hey, it's, never so been, it's never been easy, man. Like, till now, it's still hard for me to even believe, you know, because um, me and her shared so many things. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm talking about your ex, bro. Like, this yeah. is somebody... Um, if anything, I don't remember really being in a serious relationship after her, you know. Oh. But, yeah, yeah. But, um, I mean, it's been years now, you know. But, ish, I'm still in shock. Bro, to yeah. When you put up a post um, about it, there's a part where you spoke about uh, manning up and taking responsibility of, yeah, of the yeah, children, yeah. something that she <clears throat> always wanted you to do. True. Um, but some people also looked at that, even though you're in a period of mourning. But they said, why did it take only the, her death for you to man up? No, man. Like, I've always, I've always been a man like that, you know what I mean? But that was just her telling me to yeah. always man up, you know what I mean? Like, she's, she's always respected the fact that I've always been there for the kids, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Even though I, I, I never really wanted these to be in the public eye like yeah. Gio is because... Uh, Gio's birth came with the album, Giovanni. Yeah. You know? So people have seen Gio's growth, you yeah. know, like that. You We've know raised I mean? Gio, all of us. Exactly, <laughs> bro, you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, for these guys, I just figured, you know what, let me just live a private life. It's mm. not like I'm hiding or, or anything like that. Going back to your question. Yeah. It's funny how, you know, like, um, three weeks before, she had sent me a, a very long text bro, talking about, yeah, you need to man up. I feel the right person for you is this and this and this. You know, I, I won't really say names, mm. you know, but um, it's, it's crazy how, you know, people get to just like get weird when, when it's about time for them to, you know, vanish and stuff. So mm. she insisted, um, rule number one, just always be there for the kids, man up, you know what I mean, and take care of them, you know. So. I was wondering why, and I just thought it was just one of those texts. But two, three weeks later, bro, she just had this, you know, um, development, um, heart condition, and then she was in the clinic and just passed, just mm. like that. So Valentine's you Day. Valentine's Day, yeah, that's quite sad. So you've taken um, uh, 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 custody of the children? Is that what the situation yeah, is? Yes, now? yes, yes. Um, that's what I've done. I got them, the kids are with me. The living with my mom as I speak. Oh, okay. Yeah. So with the My Life's a Movie, because um, you, you just recently dropped the video. So was the video shot even before that period or you shot it after? No, no, no. The video was shot. Be Actually, My Life a Movie video was supposed to drop on my birthday, 2nd February. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but then due to some, just the hold up and, and stuff, there were some scenes that we, di we really didn't like. So we had to push it back. And then when it was time for me to drop, Unfortunately, the, the bad news came in and I just, I just had to, you know, like, like push it back for the respect I have for her and, and, and stuff, you know. Let's talk about the music. Um, this more get to my ID. Yeah. He, he's, just, he's just from dropping his, his uh, single off the album featuring Bobby East, uh, which yes, I, sir. I, I, sounds really good. I love it. I love it. Yes, but sir. do you think it's going to beat uh, Chawama John Hart? Of course, man. I mean, that's the plan, bro. That's the plan. Um, if, if you're a teacher, you know, yeah. you're always happy when your student does like far much better than you expect. You yeah. know? So obviously the plan is for Dismo to be far much better than I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, at the end of the day, we are a team, so it doesn't really matter. The numbers are ours. You know, if Dismo is doing good, I'm doing fine. I remember I was one of the first people who gave Dismo an interview, and you were there as well yeah. uh, when, when we did that. Aren't you proud of how far he's come? Did, I okay, am. Did you be, to be honest, did you, did you see him coming through this far where people have been calling him the future of Zambia Nepal? Yeah, yeah, I did. That's the reason why I, I just put him close to me and, 
put him in my circle because I saw what nobody else did, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking I'm talking shows when he was booed, this Mr. Easy concert, you know, man's 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 was booed on stage, you know, but yeah. <laughs> what did you tell him in that moment, by the way, after he was booed? What encouragement did you give him? I didn't I didn't really tell him anything, mm. man. It's that's just how the career goes, you know. Um obviously at a certain point you get, you know, people resisting you, people not feel looking like they're not feeling your staff, but it's part of the process. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. But did you have a conversation with him about it? Or you just yeah. let it go? Yeah, 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 we did. I think we just kinda laughed about it. Yeah. Like, ah, Boy, he was <laughs> mm. Where is he? So, yeah. It's no, but I, I, I'm really happy for him with, with how far he's come and, and, and the type of person. And you being there in the process. But even as he was coming up, did you fear that at some point he would uh, maybe want to break away? He would grow and want to become his own person and, and branch off? Just like you did away yeah. from K-Army and, and whatnot. Uh, you know, like for me and Dismo, it's like family, you know? Um, to a point where it's just like, it's just like brothers, you know. Um, if I'm going to do favors for my brother, I'm not doing favors for my brother um, with the thought of him betraying me in the end, you know what I mean? That just happens if, if at all he feels like, ah, you know, like now I'm, I'm, I'm big headed and stuff. Mm. So like for this moment, we've just been pushing ourselves. I'm pushing myself, like on the other hand, you know, at the same time as him. So... It's, it's nothing like, you know, if, if he gets to betray me, it's just about him, you know. But I'm just, I've, I've been doing it for, for the sake of family. Yeah. yeah. I, I, what's the situation also with other artists? Because when we talk about Apaeliso Entertainment, the first thing that comes to people's mind is, is uh, J Cash, Dismo. Sure. I'm not even sure, is Movie Rooks part of... Uh, no, 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 he's not, he's not. Uh, so <laughs> uh, what's, 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 what's the plan now in terms of expanding and having more yeah, people? Yeah, yeah, we, we actually officially, you know, creating the headquarters for Apaili. So in, in a few months' time, I, I guess we'll announce that on our pages because we're trying to, we had this conversation earlier. Yeah. We're trying to detach the studio from the house mm -hmm. for security reasons mm -hmm. and just make it public because too many people want to work with us, you know. Yeah. But then we've just been, you know, putting them on the side because we don't really want to put out our, our location on Windy like that, you yeah. know. But then now... I think it's time we, we just work with the public and push this thing to a whole new level. Was, was also the expansion process kind of interrupted by the deal or what was supposed to be a deal it with was, the music promotions? It was, it was. I'll be very honest. It was, it was. Um, actually, the plan for them was to... I was supposed to like drop my album in October, but they, their plan was to push it back because Maps was dropping. You know, so us being under the same label, they say, ah, you know what, I think we can push yours a little bit back and then have your maps drop. You know how labels work. But then um, we didn't really come to a conclusion, you know, so to say. But And then I just decided, yo, you know what, let me push this album and just and just drop it. Yeah. Yeah. And how would you rate how it's performed so far? It's done well. It's done very well. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what are we talking about more in terms than of I numbers? Expected. Yeah, we're looking good, man. I'm talking 3 million streams plus on Boomplay. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and also these other digital platforms, man. Like, we're nice. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's and, interesting and how artists these days don't even talk about CD sales anymore. It's more on the yeah, streaming. Yeah, yeah. Things have changed. But I don't, I don't really think you have a CD player at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in your car. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, so... All right, we're still hanging out with Jay Cash. Before I let you go, I'd like to play a quick game with you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're going to play a quick game. And uh, look out for that as we conclude on the other side. All right. Munibwanji, Munichebwi, Noa, Yandine, Panamutuanu, Manga, Sanderson, and you're watching On the Table with Chimweka. Welcome back to On The Table. We're still hanging out with Jay Cash. We're just about to play a game, uh, a game of this or that. So this is how it works, right? I know you're not expecting this. Yeah, man. Ish. Um, Tell me about it. So what, what you, I'm going to give you two options of things. Okay. And then you have to pick which one 
you prefer. So, for example, if I say um, uh, Chumweka or um, uh, I don't know which example. Okay. Anyway, Shorter. this or that or Shosta. Okay, yeah. yeah anyway, <laughs> 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 then you pick one. Yeah. Interesting example you gave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, we'll get straight into it. So first up, jeans or sweatpants? Jeans. I'm a piano or Afrobeats? I'm a piano. Your Giovanni album or your Chawama John Howard album? Uh, can I say both? No, you have to pick one. Giovanni. Mark X or Benz? Jamin, bro. Benz. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Kaya or Exa? Israeli. <laughs> <laughs> Calendar music promotions or Nexus music? Um, what? Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> bro. What you doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> KMP, yo. KMP. Carbonated drink or juice drink? Carbonated. Daytime or nighttime? Night time. Chicken or goat meat? Chicken. Copper belt or Lusaka? LSK, baby. Yeah. LSK. As an award winning artist from Lusaka as well. Eh? You already know, bro. J Cash, thanks a lot for coming through. I really Thank appreciate you, it. Had a great and time. I'm looking forward to uh, more from this year. What yeah. else would you like people to know about what's coming um, through from you this year? Oh, yeah. So, right now, like I said, we're announcing the, the official headquarters for our previous show so okay. people can work with us. We're giving a platform to upcoming artists and, yeah. and anybody who's interested in working with us, you know. Yeah. Uh, going back to the album, we're doing videos, so keep an eye on that. We got Dismore's album dropping this Friday, so I'm excited about that one too. I just dropped my music video some two days ago. Dismore just dropped today, so it's just a lot going on, bro. Yeah. Ish, man. Uh, looking forward to more this year. Yeah, yeah. J Cash, be my guest.